Welcome back to Bar Fitness TV. I'm your host, Dwayne. This is Bar Fitness TV or podcast if you're listening. Uh, this podcast or uh, YouTube channel was created uh, in order to document my fitness journey. And that fitness journey includes an awesome program called E2M. And in that awesome program called E2M, you run into some awesome people. And uh, today I have on a friend. I, I don't know why I feel like we were friends on Instagram before E2M. I don't know why I feel like we that. probably were. We probably were. Right. I think we yeah. were. <laughs> <laughs> but i have on none other than the legendary the molly how you doing good how are you i'm good i'm good so good. Like, like i said i think we might have been friends on instagram before e2m uh yeah. you know you you post pretty frequently a lot of people already jumping in the comments eddie's commenting and saying hey and all of that everybody's hey. everybody knows the molly <laughs> and um i always like to start off by letting you share your fitness journey, uh, which I think I've read it some places and you, you, you're pretty open about it. So talk about yeah. your fitness journey. And I always like to talk about the fitness journey before E2M. Like, what was that like? Sure. So I started right after I had my baby. Um, so four years ago, I started running and uh, really, well, you know, walking really is what I started doing. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, you know, I think I tried every single diet on the planet to try to lose weight. And, you know, you lose some, you gain some, you lose some, you gain some. It's like everything you try, it didn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, I, but I did, I was um, able to lose about 70 pounds prior to E2M uh basically by running and then trying all these diets and then mm -hmm. you know i started to go backwards so finally i was like okay i saw e2m i saw results from e2m and i was like all right i'll try it <laughs> <laughs> wow okay so yeah. what, what was it someone you knew results or like how did you stumble across it yeah, my friend Candace Coleman, shout out to her. She um, and I have been friends for over 20, I mean, forever. So mm -hmm. when I saw her results, I was like, okay. And I mean, you know, you're always skeptical about anything because sure. you try everything. Yep. So then, you know, I, I was like, all right, fine. I'll try this too. <laughs> Since, you know, I wasn't doing it on my own. I wasn't mm -hmm. getting it right. So you know, I, I jumped in and here we are today, a year later. So nice, nice. <laughs> so um, talk about the, uh, the the transition, you know, finding the program, um, kind of getting acclimated, you know, thinking this might be just another one of those programs. Um, how was week one? Did week one let you know that this was something different? Man, week one was... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty difficult but um you know and it was definitely something that I had never tried before because I I don't think I ever you know tried th that part of dieting or it's not really dieting but changing my lifestyle um so that was definitely a big shock and um as a matter of fact, there were a lot of times throughout the first round that I was like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I, I ain't doing that. But then I would do it. And then it was like, okay, I can do this. I can mm -hmm. do this. So it was, um, it was, it was definitely a transition and mm -hmm. definitely a, a shocker, but you know, it, it, it works out, uh, you know, in the end, obviously here, sure. here we are. <laughs> <laughs> for sure for sure look and speaking of uh, candace she, she's uh watching live saying oh, hey bestie <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so yeah that and that's that's another aspect of it is is the community i mean you knew her coming in um talk about coming in and meeting like so many other people and getting connected with the group because i don't know were you like immediately like 
like me, like automatically sharing in, in the group or how, how is your, your experience with, with connecting with the community? So at first, you know, I was a little hesitant. I mean, I think I'm probably an introvert for the most part, even though if people, if you ask people who know me, they'll be like introvert where, but <laughs> I am kind of introverted. And so at first I was a little hesitant, but you know, Jeff is really encouraging. I mean, he tells yes. you to post and put yourself out there. So that's what I did. And then I went to um, a race in December and met people in person. And ever since then, I mean, it's just been like an overwhelming welcoming from everybody. I mm -hmm. mean, everyone is just, this community is unmatched. Like you can't find this anywhere. So, um, so yeah, it's been an incredible journey meeting all these wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it, it's indescribable almost because nice. it's, it's because of this, because of the community, why you keep going mm. and, and you're so successful. So for sure. I think it's great. Yeah. Totally agree. And uh, so uh, Candace called you out when you said introvert, she said lies. with the <laughs> <laughs> Right. I know. I know. But <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just so you know what's going on in the chat box. <laughs> well, no, that's, 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 that's super cool. Um, <laughs> so you talked about meetups. Um, like, talk about that, man, because I'm really excited about the coaches actually getting out and pretty much having a touring schedule. Right. Uh, talk about that experience, you know, going to a meetup, seeing the people that you interact with online, face to face. And then for, for me, watching from afar seeing how tall you are and real like compared to <laughs> that's what everybody says that's everybody's first reaction because all, all, all you of your pictures you you you're running you're holding the phone yourself we, there's no there's no point right. of reference right. we don't know <laughs> as soon as you went to the first meetup i was like wait a minute why right. she squatting now for everybody <laughs> I know, I know. I, I didn't realize I came across as being short, but yeah, no. Um, I, well, I'm not that tall. I'm five seven. But uh, anyways, going to the meetups have, has been amazing. And, you know, I try to post every day. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's you never know who's who you're inspiring. And it's it's really encouraging when people come up to you and you're like oh I've seen your post and you know it's like oh, okay great you know and, and it's just it's such a warm family and um I have been trying to follow them as much as I can across the country I went to Virginia Beach I went <laughs> to Charlotte I'm going to DC next nice. month so yeah I'm really excited and of course I'm from Atlanta so I'll be oh, here sure. when they come here so um yeah, I it's it's just so much fun. It they are so much. I mean, you just have the time of your life every time uh, you're around this family. So yeah, awesome, awesome. That's mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so you know, I got to go back to uh, Candace and, and Eddie. They're just having a ball in there. <laughs> you know, Eddie, Eddie said tall question mark. Candace said tall laughing face. So uh, right, exactly. Because so. Candace is like <laughs> six three, so I'm a midget next to Candace. But right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is awesome. Eddie also <laughs> said he will see you in DC. So that's yay, be cool. good that's stuff. Funny. So, yeah. all right. So, um, I guess kind of a uh, not my last question. My next and the last question. Um, I noticed you know you you do a lot of running. Um, yes. And and I know you say you started out walking. Um. Talk about the progression and how each of them has helped you get better at something like that. Something as simple as running. Man, when I tell you that the strength I've gained with mm. each of them has really improved my running. I took off um, like 20 minutes off of my half. I mean, mm. it was amazing and I always marvel at that because I didn't do a lot of strength training before E2M I right. mean I just was like well I'm a runner you know and you, and you think that you think you're doing it right but mm -hmm. Jeff proves you wrong <laughs> <laughs> he does that a lot he totally proves you wrong and gets you straight so yeah um 
my running has, oh, wow, it's been amazing. And, you know, I'm still not the fastest runner on the planet and I'm sure. not trying to be, but right. the improvement has mm -hmm. been amazing mm -hmm. and I couldn't be happier with that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, so, yeah. That's, what I, that's what I wanted you to kind of get at was just, you know, how fixing, you know, uh, getting a, a structured program can help with so many other Absolutely. aspects when it comes to Absolutely. fitness, for sure. So before we get out of here, um, we want to, I always like to end the same way, give you an opportunity to speak to someone that's listening or watching that may be thinking about joining E2M, but not 100% on board. What would be your message to them? Um, my message is just do it. I mean, there is absolutely, and it's so easy to say because I'm in it and I've been in it for a year, but there is nothing out there like this, nothing. And um, you get all the support and you have so many different options as far as workouts, as far as mental strength, um, everything, you, you get it all in one program and it is amazing so just try it i mean what's eight weeks of your life if you love it you love it if you hate it you won't but right <laughs> <laughs> but you know try it so nice nice i love it i appreciate that um man thank you again for for coming on the show maybe we'll get candace on since she's going to be so vocal in the chat we <laughs> we can get her on and talking totally, uh totally. and 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 that'll be cool but uh, i do appreciate you uh coming on and sharing uh your yeah. journey with us um Thank to you. the bar fit folks make sure you guys tune in to the podcast which is monday through friday and the youtube channel which is tuesday and thursday uh we do interviews like this and it's always around e2m e2m base so make sure you guys subscribe like share and uh, I always end the show the same way. Remember, First Timothy 4, 8, Paul says, it's good to take care of the physical body. It really is. But we also have to take care of our spiritual body as well. Till next time, you guys, God bless. And we're out.